So <laughs> I, I I'll agree. I mean I mean there's no there's no argument that John Jones is yeah like you said it's he's but I would consider GSP to be the goat. Um, Tell us why. I think it's difficult. He, he's the most all round fighter. Honestly, okay. Between him and Mighty Mouse, I'm 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 the biggest fan of both of those guys. Um, but GSP, if he fought Khabib, I think would dominate. That's just that's just how I believe, and I agree with you. I don't even know if Khabib belongs in that in that list because of of the the caliber of fighters that he he fought. Mm. Um, he didn't fight the amount of top tier fighters that GSP, uh, John Jones, Mighty Mouse fought. Um, so yeah. Like you say, he's extremely dominant, and I would have loved to have seen him early on in his career get into the UFC and see what he could do. Um, but he is extremely dominant, and yeah, but he's not a he's not there. He's not at the top. I would consider GSP at the top. Jiu Jitsu, he's invincible, and he's a karate guy as well, um, right? Yeah. Um, I, I I don't know why I don't know why, but if and it's difficult to say too. Like you said, the numbers. Don't lie, but it also doesn't tell the whole story. But I don't know what I don't know what part of GSP story tells me in my mind that he's the goat. I think he's just such a good guy, man. He, he's, mm. he's he's the most genuine guy. He also believes in weird shit. He believes in aliens. You know what I mean? Okay, but if, if you can, <laughs> and if I'm if you agree with me here, that's that's a personal characteristic, and and yes, it's part of being a great champion and mm. part of being a, you know the greatest in a sport is 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 an athlete's character and how they carry themselves and the whole furore around them and their mm. lives. Mm. But is this not more of a personal characteristic that's, that's tainting your objective opinion? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, if, if I'm, if I'm thinking about a martial artist, I'm going to be on the good guy's side, not the guy who's knocked over a pregnant but, woman and drove but, away. But, are you one of those people, no, but, of those people who, th who think that Daniel son was the good guy in the karate? <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so here's my question is you cannot have an objective opinion of who the goat is because yeah. there is no criteria to determine a goat. So there is no objective opinion. So I agree with Sean that GSP is the current goat because of uh, where he stands, but go, um, John Jones will be because John Jones is still active. So he still has time to stretch that record, man. It's it, it, he and he will he will Craig, keep stretching if, it. Craig, if if John Jones beats Francis Ngannou, what are you saying? Does that solidify his status? Yes, then he's the goat because then he jumped a he jumped up a, a weight class, and he beat literally the beast of heavyweight. The guy who people are now scared of him. Literally, he he the guy hits the and you said that he hits like being hit by a Ford at 60 k's an hour did you know wrong. Hit, you were wrong it's like getting hit by a ford escort at full speed full speed <laughs> literally because that's how much horsepower a i was just trying ford to soften the blow bro that is that that is incomprehensible as a human being who hasn't been in a ring with a heavyweight you can't mm. think of how hard that actually hit. He'll he'll knock you off your feet. He'll turn you he'll turn you horizontal and then you'll fall. Yeah, man. That's that's it. Yeah, it's he'll but, knock you off the flat side of the earth, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, if if Jones beats and guy, I mean, uh, he's he's hands down as far as martial yeah. as far as fighter as far as a fighter status goes. Yeah, that without that, a doubt, that's immense. If, that's if immense that, because then then he's then he's two division. You know what I mean? As well, same as GSP. He, um, he's two division, but he's also proved that he can go up. There's a difference between yeah. going up and coming down because, and that's the biggest thing that takes Khabib out of the books for me completely. He always dropped from his walking around weight two divisions to go fight. Most people do that. Yeah, but he never ever just went one. He never went up a division and be like, okay, let me fight here. It's only 10 pounds that I have to lose to get there. Yeah. And he never thought of just fighting there. Uh, I, I'm not saying he has to fight at his walking around weight, but at least try one above. And I mean, Connor did it and he won it. Yeah. So, okay. So, so, so Sean, you're saying, you're saying GSP. I'm saying GSP. In, in, in one sentence or one sentiment. Why? He's the gentleman martial artist. He'll <laughs> smile at you and still fuck you up. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it, to me, to me, let me let me let me just clarify. 
to me, martial arts is about more than how good you are at fucking someone up because you could be a gangster and you could fuck someone up. It doesn't make you good. It doesn't make you mm. a goat. Um, it's there's a martial artist and going back to the root of what a martial artist is, you've got a responsibility. If you can mm. kill someone, you've got a responsibility as a human being to be a good person. Oh, now he wants to get traditional. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but, I respect yeah. the tradition. I respect the no, tradition. hundred percent. But, but I also like this, the sentiment of knowing you're the best. So for example, you're talking about a footballer like Cristiano Ronaldo, you ask him who's the best. I'm the best. And when people ask GSP, are you going to come out of retirement? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cristiano. Um, they asked GSP, are you going to come out and show uh, Usman what it's all about? And he's like, I've got nothing to prove to beat him. Like, I am who I am. Yeah, but dude, there's, there's, a, like, there's, a much, come on. there's a much deeper thing behind that. It's He was basically saying, like, he's been active now for another, what, five years. So he's mm. saying to, to, to go back into, like, a four-month training camp yeah. to beat Usman didn't appeal to him it just wasn't yeah. something that motivated him to now completely upend and change his whole life yeah and not see his family and not chow fucking pizzas or whatever it is that they do mm. in french canada um, <laughs> for like half a year just to try and come back and prove something again that he's done yeah 13 times <laughs> yeah Exactly. And, and yeah. I think if he came out of retirement and went through a four-month camp, I think he would beat Usman. No, let, let me explain something to you. This <laughs> guy never stops would. training. This guy never yeah. stops training. GSP would be ready for a fight tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, but not at, not at a UFC. Not at a UFC. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. But he still is. He's still oh, he's active. a lifelong martial artist. Yeah. yeah. He's, an, he's still very, very mm -hmm. active. Um, yeah. Anyway. Craig, what are you saying? Yes. For me, it's GSP purely because he once again there's no asterisk on him there is no asterisk on gsp's record Touché. and i i mean i other live than, on other than mm -hmm. so the two losses yeah, okay but that's not well, an asterisk. what is a loss and to a martial is, artist and this is, listen well, this i'm is, tired of that now because <laughs> now people now people are saying that come at me bro <laughs> that israel is out of the books he will never be a goat he's just out of it now because he's taken a loss why does a loss determine the fact that you can never be a goat? Just because well, who have knows? Lost that's what we're trying to. That's what but, we're trying but, to figure but that's out. Exactly, but honestly, I, I don't believe I'm, that is I'm, a determining fact at all. I'm playing devil's advocate for you because when it comes down to fine margins, mm. where we're talking about two champions, for example, who have pretty similar records in terms of uh, amount of wins in UFC title mm. fights and amount of title defenses, then these things, then you have to look. You have to look for differentiators. Mm. You have to look for degrees of separation, however large or small that no. they may be. And the, 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 the plain, simple fact of the matter is that John Jones technically has never been beaten. GSP yeah. has lost two fights. And, and I love I'm John Jones and I, I respect that record. But, dude, I live online now trying to explore the UFC world and understand what the fans think and the guys who actually dig deep into these things. And it's you, you cannot prove that this guy has a, like that doping record could extend into things where he wasn't caught. Mm. And, and I, I would like to believe that it, it doesn't, but you can't prove that it doesn't. It's, he's put that asterisk on his own name and that mm. hurts, man. That it sucks because he, re, I, from a technical ability point of view, I think he is the goat. I don't think there is anyone more talented in the martial arts world than he is, but he has screwed himself over. That's fair. And that's that a fair sucks, point. man. Let's let's do it this way. Fun. 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 <laughs> We're having fun. fun. We're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> let's put a let's put a pound for pound spin on it. Okay. okay. Pound for pound, if these fighters had to be the same size, the same weight between John Jones, mm. GSP, Demetrius Johnson, and Anderson Silva. Who would come out in a Grand Prix? Dude, who would be the last man standing. Demetrius Johnson is one of my favorite fighters of all time. Yeah, fighters, fighters, He's not a Ghostbuster. Dude, <laughs> watching him fight was something special to see, and mm. it literally mm. broke my heart when that dickhead beat him. It, me, too. Yeah. me too. And and when we swapped him for fucking, <laughs> oh, one really gets one hit wonder. Jeez. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's uh, uh, I I would take. Hey, I dude, would take... Ben, ben Askren's about to represent the world of MMA. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, <dude. laughs> so, I love him for how cringy he is. <laughs> pound for pound, I don't know why, but I love uh, Demetrius Johnson. I just think Mighty Mouse is incredible to watch. He he's such a performer, he, man. He suplexed the guy into an armbar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Come, come on, that that That's technical ability. <laughs> <laughs> that technical ability is incredible and something we sh- didn't touch on earlier is how far Woodley has fallen from grace the man who could have been a goat the man who they thought when he was defending his own title was fighting at half speed and dope rapper though uh, yeah but <laughs> dope rapper bro but this has got that he's got a trade to fall back on <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally just fallen from grace and he was my favorite and that's he's done, eh? he's, he's, he's done. done. Ben even said they asked him at the post fight presser, and he, he was like, you know, Tyron's been a he's, a he's been a great fighter. I loved what I saw in there tonight. And, mm. You know, he tried to bring the old one back, but he's what he's what, 30, 36, 38 years yeah. old. He's on a four, done. he's on a you know a four fight loss streak. He's like, what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, it's so, time to become Bellator champion. Yeah, Bellator, yeah. No. <laughs> 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 natural career progression of mixed yeah. martial artists yeah man. Yeah, it goes downhill it, it, yeah mixed martial arts doesn't go the other way around <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you end up in the backyard fights <laughs> okay so let's so so craig who wins the grand prix who's last man standing you're saying mighty mouse yeah i think mighty mouse is the is the pound for pound greatest right. of all time mm. sean dude and if i say that you're gonna be like oh we've agreed on three different things tonight mm. that's <laughs> it's not true. good i would i would say mighty mouse uh, mm. mostly because he's so dynamic dude he's he's good at every part of the game i would say mighty mouse in all honesty <laughs> yeah, i don't know what do you i think? know it's i know it's pound for pound but it, it doesn't paint a pretty picture when you think about the fact that we're saying mighty mouse would beat john jones but he lost to henry fucking Suhuda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> true story yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll i'll put a cork in it <clears throat> my f- greatest of all time is john jones mm. um for me, the reason behind that is that I think he's technically the most talented mixed martial artist that I've ever watched. Mm. And his record is the greatest. His The numbers don't lie. And for me, what you see when you watch, that doesn't lie for me either. Mm. If I had to orchestrate a hypothetical pound for pound Grand Prix in my mm. mind, I'm busy simulating it as we speak, like a, a <laughs> UFC game engine. <laughs> I would have to say that John Jones fights Demetrius Johnson in the final, mm. but still comes out on top. Okay. You you know, you were the one who put me on to um, Mighty Mouse, yeah? When you were living together, you forced me to watch him, and then I, I became a huge... You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. 